Hi, so in this video we will learn about different types of ratios. As you can see I have already listed all of them and the first one is the ratio of greater inequality. Suppose if we have ratio like 6 by 5 where the antecedent is greater than the consequent, here 6 is greater than 5, then this is called the ratio of greater inequality. And the property of this ratio is actually if I add 1 to both numerator and denominator or antecedent and consequent then this would become 7 by 6. So the value of 5 by 6 is 1.2 and the value of 7 by 6 is actually 1.16. So definitely 1.2 is greater than 1.16. That means if you have a ratio of greater inequality where antecedent is more than the consequent then if you add some constant here in this case we have added 1 suppose if you add a in both numerator and denominator then the resultant ratio which in this case will actually be 6 plus a divided by 5 plus a will always be lesser than the original ratio and what will happen if I subtract constant suppose 1 from both numerator and denominator so if I subtract 1 from 6 it will become 5 and if I subtract 1 from 5 it will become 4 which is actually equal to 4 ones of 4.25 so here in this case if I subtract a constant from the ratio of greater inequality the resultant ratio will be more than the original ratio and now let's talk about the ratio of lesser inequality and what do we mean by this if you have first term smaller than the second term suppose you have a ratio a is to b where a is less than b then this ratio is called the ratio of lesser inequality so if we take numbers suppose we have ratio like 3 is to 4 then this is called the ratio of lesser inequality and here also if I add 1 to both first term and the second term the resultant ratio here in this case will be equal to 4 by 5. The value of 3 by 4 is actually equal to 0 0.75 and here it is actually equal to 0 0.8 right. So if I convert 3 by 4 into decimals I get 0 0.75 and if I convert 4 by 5 which we got after adding 1 to both the first term and the second term we got 0 0.8 so that means for the ratio of lesser inequality if I add a constant to both the terms the resultant ratio will always be greater than the original ratio and what happens if I subtract so suppose if I subtract 1 from both 3 and 4 and find the ratio it will be 2 by 3 which is equal to 0 0.66 and it will be repeated infinite number of times right and definitely this will never become 0 0.75 so if I subtract a constant from both the terms of the ratio of lesser inequality the value of the ratio decreases so now let's go to the next type of ratio next type of ratio that is the third ratio is ratio of equality so any ratio a is to b is called the ratio of equality if a is equal to b so this is very simple and after this we have duplicate ratio so suppose if you have a ratio like a is to b which can also be written as a by b then duplicate ratio of a is to b will be written as a square by b square so a square by b square is the duplicate ratio of a is to b or a by b right so this is duplicate ratio and the fifth one is sub duplicate ratio so suppose if I have a ratio like a is to b then square root of a is to square root of b which can also be written as a to the power 1 by 2 is to b to the power 1 by 2 will be called sub duplicate ratio right so a to the power 1 by 2 is to b to the power 1 by 2 is the sub duplicate ratio of a is to b right and the sixth one is triplicate ratio suppose if you have a ratio like a is to b then a cube by b cube 
or a cube is to b cube is called triplicate ratio and what is sub triplicate ratio sub triplicate ratio of a is to b will be a to the power 1 by 3 is to b to the power 1 by 3 or you can write it as cube root of a is to cube root of b so this is sub triplicate ratio and what is inverse ratio suppose you have a ratio like a is to b then b is to a is called the inverse ratio of a is to b now we have one more ratio compound ratio of two ratios so what it is suppose you have two ratios a is to b and c is to d then the ratio of the product of both the first terms or the antecedents that is a c to the product of second term or consequence that is b d is called compound ratio of a is to b and c is to d right so these are different types of ratios we will use whichever is required while solving the problems so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then